Hello everyone. Today we are going to do July's budget for 2021. So, a couple of little things. Um, has anybody had a month or even a week that started out great and then towards the end of that week or the end of that month, um, things start to happen? Well, our, our June started out really good. Then about two weeks ago, um, my husband went to the post office for me to mail a couple of packages on some sales that I had on, um, on online sales. And he heard something behind him, like something scraping on the floor. So when he turned around, and I will insert a picture up there somewhere. Of what he found in the post office. Yeah, he found a seven foot alligator that was crawling around in the lobby of the post office. Yeah, so he had to call 911 to let them know that, you know, what this was, and they had to come over and they had to call um, animal. Uh, what is it, like an animal control, uh, wildlife, something like that down here in Florida. I think they're called wildlife where they take them and they take them to a certain um, area because they don't kill them down here. They take them to a, there's a place called Gatorland down here in um, Orlando, Florida. So they either took it there or I believe there's another wildlife place down in, um, I believe it's in Tampa. So that's what my husband found when he went to the post office this month. Then just last week, I wouldn't even say last week, I would say within the past couple of days this week, um, it started getting very hot in the house and I'm like, okay, something's not right. I mean, sometimes if I use the oven, the temperature will go up a little bit in the house, but then it comes right back down once the oven cools down. But the temperature is kept on rising. So we were like 83 degrees in the house. I'm like, okay, something's not right. Turns out that we called a heating and cooling person and our fan in our um, central air unit when so they got a new fan and they had to put that in and everything which we share the house with my son and daughter-in-law so anything that pertains to the house we split 50 50 but the fan for the central air conditioner cost 544 dollars on top of coming out of um after hours fee, that's what I was trying to think of, an after hours fee of $50. So we had to pay the $50. Then while we had the person here, I said, we, well, I said, we might as well just get a service contract in case something like this happens again, that we would be covered under the service contract for certain things. So that was an additional $155. So all that came to over $700. So, I'm glad I had my mini emergency fund because I had to pull money from that to pay for the fan and to pay for the um, half of the fan and to pay for half of the service contract and to pay for the half of the after hours fee that it was. So... Now I have to, that money that I took out of my mini emergency fund, I have to replenish that money back. But I'm still going to try to send the truck a little bit more money. You know, I'm going to try to send them something. I was hoping to have them paid off by 2023, paying them $1,042 a month. 
but that might be, um, it might take me a couple of months longer to do that, but I'm still going to send them some kind of money each month. Hopefully, I could still do the 1042 this month. I'm close to it, but I don't know if I'm going to meet that goal for this month. But I have to get my emergency fund back up to where it was, my mini emergency fund back up to where it was, just in case, you know, there's another problem that occurs that I had that money already fully funded back in there. Now, with that said, let's get into our July budget. Okay. So, we are expecting for July 2000 four hundred fifty dollars that's what we are expecting for July so another little thing sorry I know I'm rambling I overpaid my mortgage so our mortgage is we pay 500 and my son and daughter-in-law pay 500 so what I did is they sent me a, a, a statement telling me that my mortgage is due in in August and I'm like in July and I'm like no I said I already paid for July because we always pay our bills a month ahead so without calling them I just automatically sent them another payment so when we called them my daughter-in-law called them they said that that was a uh, principal payment only and she says well she said we want to put that she said towards um, you know August or uh, August's, no, I think it was, yeah, August's payment. So, right now, we don't have to make a payment for our mortgage until September 1st. So, for July and for August, I'm only going to take half of the mortgage money out to put that into the household account. And then, September, we will have a complete full budget with the full amount for the mortgage. So, the mortgage is going to be $250 and then we have electric. All my other bills will stay the same. Ooh, I'm making horrible hair because I can't write. All right. Electric is going to be 100. Water is going to be 50. We have cable. Zoom this in just a tiny bit more. There you go. Okay. Cable, we have 40. We have our cell phones. Which is 75. We have our truck payment. Which is 416. We have food which is 250 we have security and security is going to be 23 we have gas for my husband's truck that is 300 I know the gas prices are on the rise again it's getting really really bad with the gas prices uh, Hulu is 14. Okay. Pet food is going to get 50. Or no, we cut that down because they still have money left over. So pet food is only going to get 40. Because they still have about 15 or $17 left in their, their envelope for the rest of this month for June. Okay, after pet food, we have savings. I'm going to try to do savings, um, but we'll see what happens. That's going to be 25. We got life insurance. It's mine and my husband's life insurance. That's 46. We have our cash envelopes. Now this is going to be for the whole month, so that's going to be $260. And then we have our sinking funds. And 
and that is also going to be, that's going to be 450. 450. So we're going to total this up. And hopefully we come under the 2450. So can you, there we go. All righty. So 250, 100. 50, 40, 75, 416, 250, 23, 300, 14, 40, 25, 46, 260, and 450, 2339. 2,339 dollars. All right, and we're going to minus that from the 2450. We'll give us an extra debt payment of 111 dollars. So what I'm going to do is because I have to build up my emergency mini emergency fund. So we're going to take. Um, Let's see, minus 61, 111 minus 61. Okay, we're going to put into emergency fund. Emergency fund is going to get the $61. And then we'll do the extra debt. The extra debt of fifty dollars. So that's what we're going to do. The sixty-one dollars for the month of July for the emergency fund. I will be adding to this, but this is just our monthly bill of of how much we're going to be taking out for the emergency fund. But it's going to be more than sixty-one dollars. But I figured let me take half, do sixty-one fifty. For the extra debt is what we're going to do for July. But I'm hoping to get my mini emergency fund back up within the next month, two months tops, so I can get right back on track again of paying the truck of the $1,042 a month. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I know this was a little bit of a chatty video. I apologize for that. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you as part of the YouTube family. Um, if you go out, please do stay safe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, everyone.